Hi, I'm Grant Varner with the law firm of Varner and Segura. And I'm going to address something that I'm getting phone calls every day about right now. You've seen it in the media a lot. You've seen it on news stories. There's a lot of buzz around this. The question I'm being asked virtually every day now is, if I pull up to a license and registration checkpoint in the state of South Carolina and put my license and registration in the window or in a bag hanging out of the window like I've seen on the, the Facebook video, the YouTube video, CNN, um, Fox, all, all these news stations and say, I will not speak, I will not roll down my window, I want my lawyer. Is that legal? And can the police get into my vehicle to talk to me about that? The truthful answer right now is in the state of South Carolina, we don't know. There are not enough cases in South Carolina with people doing this for it to be addressed in the courts just yet, but it's coming. As of right now, I've had several people contact me that have said, I went through a license and registration checkpoint. I put my license, my registration, uh, and proof of insurance in the window with a note that said, I will not speak to the police. I know my rights. I want my lawyer. And these people have all said, I'm worried about what's going to happen. So far, not one of these people has been charged. It does not mean it cannot happen or it won't happen. It just hasn't happened to any of the people I've come into contact with. It is my understanding from Highway Patrol that what they are going to do in the meantime is if you pull up to a road check uh, or license registration checkpoint with one of those signs or with your information in a Ziploc bag hanging out the window like you've seen on the YouTube videos, that they're going to ask you to pull to the side, they're going to park a patrol car in front of you with a rear facing camera on, and they're going to park a patrol car behind you with a front facing camera on in an effort to wait you out and get you to roll down the window so they can speak with you. Again, that has not really been tried and tested in the state of South Carolina just yet, so there's no clear law on how that's going to work or if that's even legitimate and legal. Just the same as there's no bright line rule in South Carolina yet as to whether or not just putting your information in the window and refusing to roll down your window is legal. It has yet to be seen. What I'll say at this point is it appears to be working, and as long as there are no other signs of obvious drug use or anything in plain view or no other obvious signs of driving under the influence of alcohol or narcotics that would warrant probable cause for an officer to get into the vehicle, it's probably going to be okay. But again, this is still new and developing uncharted territory in the state of South Carolina. And we here at Varner and Segura, just as much as you, look forward to seeing where this is going to go in the near future.